Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be looking at another Bobblehead Funko Pop figure. This one being Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. So anyways, let's start with detail. Now, like I've said, this is another Bobblehead figure from Funko. And, um, well, yeah. And uh, the next reviews, or the next couple review videos are going to be uh, Funko Bobbleheads figures as well. Just to give you guys a quick heads up. No pun intended, but yeah. And um, out of all the bobblehead pop figures, this one has, well, the bobbling movement on here is, well, has the least amount of movement. So you can see here. Like, yeah, it just doesn't move as much as Yoda and Kylo Ren and Obi-Wan. I mean, uh, Luke Skywalker. But, yeah. But anyways, on to detail. Um, this Ultron is, like I said, from Avengers Age of Ultron, which is from the MCU. And for the most part, this is pretty well done in terms of detail. I mean, well, well like, I'm not really going to count accuracy. Well, I'm not really going to um, talk about accuracy because it's a pop figure. They're not going to be 100% accurate. But the texture on here is really nicely done, especially on the body area, like the chest, and the arms, and the legs, and the back. So, yeah. And the head and face, it's, it's okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty much it for detail. There's not really a lot to talk about in terms of well, detail other than it's well, pretty well textured and sculpted and all that. And paint job is really, really nice. He's silver, like he should be, because, you know, he's made of metal. He's a, he's a robot, obviously. And his eyes are red, like they were in the movie, I think. Well, I think they were red in the movie, but yeah. He has red, well, some of the parts of the inside of the figure are red. Well, you know what I mean, but yeah. The interior parts of the figure are red, which looks really nice. And there's a couple of red parts right here, which looks cool. So, yeah. And, of course, you have some of the red stripes here, which looks really nice. So, yeah. I think these are, these red cheek looking things are, um, they look okay. So, yeah. Paint job is really good. Really nice. And articulation, um, well... <laughs> His head bobbles, and that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if I would even call it articulation. So, eh, whatever. Just the head moves or bobbles or whatever. And like I said, this figure or bobblehead figure, like its head bobbles the least, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for articulation. Only one, if you could call it articulation, but yeah. Only one. And that's. Well, yeah, just one. And last but not least, rarity. Um, rarity on this figure, well, since it's a pop figure, I would have to assume this figure is very common. And since it's a Marvel character, I would have to assume that makes it even more common. But, eh, whatever. Um, if you can't find this at your local store, I advise you go look on Amazon. So, yeah. It's pretty much it for this review. So yeah, detail and paint job's really nice. He has one point of articulation, of course, the bobbling head. <laughs> Sorry, hiccups. Anyways, um, yeah, only one point of articulation and rarity. I would have to assume he's very common. He's a pop figure and a Marvel figure. So yeah, in the end, I give the figure a um. I guess I have to give it a 5 out of 5. I mean, the eyes, sh I guess, should look different, but it's a pop figure. Like I said before, these pop figures aren't going to be 100% accurate, which is fine with me. So, yeah, I give this a 5 out of 5. It's a really nice well, pop figure. Well, it's a pretty good pop figure, that is. So, yeah. And Ultron himself is pretty cool. I love his appearance in uh, Age of Ultron. He was pretty badass in that movie. But, yeah. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. I recommend it to Marvel fans and pop fans. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, 
I almost forgot. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, give it a like, subscribe, and if you want to, leave a comment. So yeah. Once again, that score is a 5 out of 5, and I'll see you guys in the next review video.